What's up everybody, this is Jordan with Conscious Muscle Vegan Fitness and Nutrition. Uh, the reason I'm doing this intro is I'm not very active on this channel, so I'm gonna get a lot more active. We wanna bring you a lot more content of value to help out. Um, so essentially this video is gonna be about supplements. So as you guys know, um, I have Conscious Muscle Vegan Fitness and Nutrition, which is online vegan fitness coaching. I have Lillian Friends, which is a sanctuary everything supports. And then um, with my, my friend and partner here, Marco, and when I say partner, business partner, Marco, um, we both kind of co-created and founded Conscious Muscle Supplements with the idea that, you know, Marco went vegan how long ago? Uh, it's like almost 10 months now. 10 months ago, and anytime we talk about this, I have to say after going vegan, he broke all of his worldwide powerlifting records, which we'll talk about another time. I like to brag about that. But the point is this, you know, we have a mission. We have a vision. Along with making a vegan world, part of that is making the world of mainstream supplements completely cruelty-free. Given that we're in the bodybuilding and athletic world and Marco's expertise is supplements, I mean, he owns a supplement store, and fortunately, you know, since going vegan, he's loaded this store up with vegan essentials. So I just kind of wanted to preface with that to let you know who I am. Um, definitely gonna be more active. Marco's gonna be in a lot of videos. We're gonna do a supplement channel too to mirror these videos. Um, so again, I'm gonna give it over to Marco. Today we're gonna talk about branched chain amino acids. And again, this is co-owner and founder of Conscious Muscle Supplements, so. Yeah, um, like Jordan said, my name is Mark Galindo. Um, I'm co-owner of Conscious Muscle Supplements. Also on a supplement store, Throw Nutrition here in uh, South Florida. That's <coughs> actually where we're filming currently. Um, we carry a ton of supplements, both vegan and non-vegan, for everybody, just so everybody knows. He owns them, um, I don't own this store. <laughs> yes. I don't work here. Yeah. I just come to see my friend. And, uh, <laughs> But, like I said, we have brought in a ton of plant-based products, a ton of um, non-animal-based products for the most part since going vegan myself. Um, the store is a lot more stock, which we're super, super proud of. And one of the biggest things, um, kind of the main subject that we wanted to make today, um, a lot of feedback we've been seeing, especially when it comes to like a lot of the social media game, um, is just supplements in general. Protein now, right, which you can kind of see in the shot, kind of not. Uh, everybody understands, right? Way. Uh, when it comes to protein, it comes from animals. So for the most part in the vegan community, everybody stays away from whey. Oh. A lot of the things that people necessarily aren't staying away from is when it comes to their other supplements. Um, things like BCAs, which we also have our BCAs here, 100% plant-based. Um, we're not even trying to make it like an infomercial about our stuff, but just when it comes to a lot of other stuff, we see um, a lot of the BCAs that people in the vegan community, and people aren't doing it on purpose. Um, a lot of what we're seeing is just people not knowing, just lack of knowledge. So again, right? we, dis we discussed this prior to going into this Correct. video. We're not here to judge anyone. Yeah. We're here to inform because we see people that are really hardcore vegans that yeah. use vegan everything, and they don't realize that their pre-workout or their BCAA, that they're taking, there's animal in it. Yeah, and, and just a lot of people don't understand where these products are really derived from. Uh, like George said, some I've been doing uh, right on five years now. This is our fifth year I'm um, heading into with the store and a lot of the knowledge and stuff that's kind of come from that and then also when we came to developing our own products is that when it comes to bcas and creatine products specifically that's the biggest thing that i'm personally saying within the vegan community that people are taking that are animal based a lot of you have to understand whatever popular not to name names but whatever popular bca product that you're taking um it should be plant-based they have to be derived from, the amino acids themselves have to be derived from uh, plant-based compounds because if they're not, just so you know, they're derived from animal hair follicles, um, they're derived from animal, uh, what is it, feathers um, and hair follicles. Yeah, primarily. primarily duck feathers and I know it's it's here nor there, we talk mm -hmm. about this too, a yeah. lot of uh, people say they, or on the internet if you look for it, human hair follicles, correct? Regardless. Specifically because a lot of these compounds aren't even being made here in the like unless it says plant-based, don't assume it's plant-based because it's not plant-based. Right. Yeah, and again, specifically when it comes to BCA uh, complexes, amino acid complexes in general, glutamine complex, glutamine is great for muscle recovery, right? Um, glutamine is not necessarily animal-derived for the most part, they are not animal-derived. Creatines, creatine's huge. Everybody we put out that post a couple weeks ago or a week ago, we were like, hey, what would you guys like to see us come out with next? Everybody seemed to say creatine, pre-workout, yeah. stuff like that. Um, we're working on a pre-workout. We're very, very, very close on a pre-workout, finalizing that and having that out for everybody, which we're super excited about because we used to both take pre-workout back in the day before going vegan. But a lot of stuff that's out now is just not vegan, and the ones that are vegan just aren't necessarily that good. So we are trying to come out with something different, something strong, something that's 100% plant-based, just like the products that we have now are, are 
uh, protein, 100% plant-based, our BCAs, 100% plant-based derived amino acids along with the electrolytes. In order for colors, flavors, sweeteners, that's gonna be going forward for all of our products. That is also a super important thing for us. Um, and again, just putting it out there, just so everybody kind of knows, like Jordan said, we're not judging anybody. Um, that's not what we're about. There's vegan police about everything. They get on me about stuff. They get on Jordan about stuff. Yeah, for they sure. get on our products about stuff, about whatever. And that's not what we're about. Uh, it's more so just informational. Uh, you know, absolutely. So, you know, I'm with you. I guess the essence of this video is this, guys. This journey is about progress, not perfection. We're not judging. We need to be informed about things the way you guys do. So with supplements, you know, our goal is not just to have a great BCA and great protein. Our goal is to come out with the utmost quality product in, in, in all regards, whether it's pre-workout, BCA, anything you can get at a shelf at a supplement store, we want you to be able to get 100% cruelty-free, vegan, non-GMO, and where we get, we know where our stuff comes from. We know it's from certified facilities. We, we know Correct. that there's checks, balances, and, and quality assurance with our product. So the essence of this video, do we carry a quality product? Would we love for you to purchase it? Absolutely, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about letting you know to be careful what you buy, to make sure it's plant-based because the majority of people who buy this stuff, they just don't know and they're working so hard on their vegan journey, you know what I mean? And then to inadvertently take something without knowing. And we're, I, listen, like Jordan said, I've only, it's about nine, 10 months for me, I'm very new. There's a lot of things that people have kind of called me on and I'm just like, wow, I don't know. When I go and buy a, and I'm not even big into like energy drinks per se, but if I go and buy an a bang or whatever, right? Bang's huge, bang tastes great, that's what I used to drink sometimes when I was tired. And then I realized, wow, the amino acids, Bang has amino acids, that's why it's such a clean energy uh, product. Uh, Bang's amino acids are not plant-based, right? No. A lot of people don't understand it, even things like that. Um, so, yeah. And, and it's hard to call someone on it when you see them because you don't want to come off like, woo, woo, woo vegan right. police. No, you're, you're trying to help. So it's like when you see someone at the gym with bad form. Sure. You want to help them, yeah. but you don't want to like be when like... I found you. You had a lot of bad form, and then we started... Correct. I, would, I was lifting such tremendous weight Not that there's enough. no way anyone could have good form. So, oh, and one last thing before, before we wrap up. I, yeah. just, I do want to preface this. This is important. A lot of companies say this. Um, with Conscious Muscle, you guys know we have the Conscious Muscle Animal Sanctuary Donation Program. I have my own sanctuary, Lily at Friends, that I use the profits from this to fund. Marco's 100% on board with this mission. Since we started Conscious Muscle Supplements, we continue to donate 10% of our profits to sanctuaries every month. Not only do we say we do that, we post every month where the money's going to. Correct. So people know what sanctuaries are being donated to. Yeah. So yeah. we're in this for the animals. We're in this for the right reasons. And listen, we're conscious vegan entrepreneurs. Absolutely. You know, we want, we want to make the world cruelty free and this is part of it. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Marco, cool?